As an investor, you're always looking for opportunities to make a profit. So if you look at an opportunity and you see that a stock is likely to go up in price, there's several things you can do. You can buy the stock, you can buy a call option, or if you think the stock price is going to go up but not a whole lot, you can uh, create a bull spread. And in a bull spread, what you do is you buy a call option and then you sell another call option that has a higher exercise price. And that offsets some of your cost. And I've created a tutorial on, on bull spread. So if you haven't seen that, you may want to take a look. If you think the price of the stock is going to go down, then you can short sell the stock. You can buy a put option or you could create a bear spread. And in a bear spread, what you're going to do is you're going to buy a put option and then you're going to sell another put option that has a lower exercise price. And again, I have another tutorial on that, which you might want to look at. Now, suppose you think the price of the stock is not going to move much at all. Is there a way to create a strategy that will allow us to profit from that? And the answer is yes. We can use what's referred to as a butterfly spread. And a butterfly spread is really just a combination of a bull spread and a bear spread. So suppose we have a stock that's selling for about $80 a share, and we don't think the stock price is going to change much. We think it's going to hover around 80 bucks a share. How can we create a strategy so that we get a profit as long as it hovers around $80 a share? And you can see here I've listed three different call options because we're going to need three options to create this, this uh, butterfly spread. You can also do it with put options, but I'm going to do it with call options here. I have a 75 call. That is a, a call option with an exercise price of 75 that sells for $10 or has a premium of $10. I have a second call option that has an exercise price of 80 and it costs $7. And then the third option has an exercise price of 85 and has a premium or price of $5. So in order to create this butterfly spread, what we're going to do is we're going to be long the 75 call. That is, we're going to buy one of these. We're going to be short not one, but two 80 calls. That is, we're going to sell two of these, and then we're going to be long or buy the 85 call. And so the first thing we want to figure out is, what's the cost? Well, the cost is going to look like this. We're going to pay $10 for the 75 call, but we're going to sell two 80 calls at $7 each, so we're actually going to make money, or our cost is going to be minus 14 okay we're going to actually remember this is a cost so minus 14 means you're getting 14 dollars in revenue and then we're going to buy the 85 call and that's going to cost us five so if we add all this up this is going to cost us a dollar so let's go over to our diagram here and we're going to see that we're going to start one dollar in the hole okay you're gonna it's gonna cost you a dollar to create this strategy now let's see what our payoff looks like if the price of the stock is below 75 there's no reason to use the option or the right to buy at a price of 75 when the price of the stock is let's say sixty dollars a share right you just go to your brokerage account and you'd buy it for sixty dollars a share so there's no reason to buy for seventy five the person who bought the eighty calls from you they're not going to use their option either again why would they buy buy the stock for eighty dollars a share if it's selling for sixty and the eighty five call you own you're not going to use again for the same reasons so what you're going to get is you're going to get a horizontal line 
until you reach 75. Let me see if I can make that a straight line. Once you reach 75, what happens? Well, for every dollar it goes above 75, you're going to make a dollar. And as long as the price is below 80, these options, these 280 calls that you sold, are not going to be used. And for the same reasons we discussed before, and the 85 call isn't going to be used. So what's going to happen is this is going to turn up at a slope of 1, and it's going to go up until we hit 80. What happens once we hit 80? Once we hit 80, you'll still be making a dollar for every option you sold here, or uh, I'm sorry, for, for this option that you bought here, but you'll be losing a dollar here. Now remember from a bull spread, we had sold one call option, so it would flatten out. But you've sold two of these, so the first one would flatten it out, the second one would cause you to lose a dollar, right? You're going to lose two dollars for every dollar it goes above 80, you're still going to be making a dollar here, so this is going to turn down. And it's going to turn down with a slope of minus 1. And it's going to do that until we hit 85. Once we hit 85, for every dollar that it goes above 85, you're making a dollar on the 75 call you bought. You're losing a dollar on the 80 calls that you sold. Remember, you sold two of them. And then you'll be making a dollar from the 85 call, so it's just going to flatten out. Okay, So your profit's going to be zero. And it's going to look like this. So let's think about this. Let's see what we have here. We have, let me change my pen color here. We're going to have a break-even point of 76 here. right? Remember, you paid a dollar, so the price of the stock has to go one dollar above 75 in order to break even and you're going to have another break even. you have two break even points here your break even point over here is going to be 84 your maximum profit if the stock price stays right at 80 is going to be four dollars so it's kind of a neat strategy we've created a strategy that makes us money as long as the price of the stock doesn't change much. Okay, As long as it stays above 76 or below 84, we're going to make a profit. If it gets above 85, we're going to lose a dollar. If it goes below 75, we're going to lose a dollar. So it's a quite an inexpensive strategy for profiting if the price of the stock stays right around where it is. And again, a good strategy to use if you don't think the stock is go stock price is going to change much. Remember, when you use option strategies, usually you're doing them for three months or six months, you know, short time period, sometimes shorter than that. The price of the stock probably isn't going to change very much. So it's a an inexpensive way to pick up a small profit. So this is a way to profit from um, the stock price not changing very much. We can actually create some different strategies that would uh, change the picture even a little bit from this. And uh, I'll discuss those in future tutorials.